YouTube, what's going on today? So we're going to do something a little bit different. So the last video I had, we did a random wheel challenge. Um, today we're just going to go, we're just going to go and hunt. Um, so we're going to go to my personal favorite map, Silver Ridge Peaks. We're going to go through some different multiplayer servers and uh, just see what we can get. Um, so I've got a diamond of every species on there. So maybe we can get some rares. Maybe we can get some more diamonds. Who knows? But uh, let's get after it. All right. So we are starting off here at the uh, Mountain Goat Outpost. Let me show you what we're carrying today. So we're going to be carrying the 300, the 22, the Vibrant 22, the Zarza 308 AR, and the Zarza 223 AR. Um, each of them are equipped with a Hyperion scope. Um, and then, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. And one thing here to note is that the server host is a level 20, so we have a pretty good chance of, uh, of getting something good. Because there's no need zones like marked at all, at least anywhere near that I'm hunting. Up in the northeastern part of the map. Anyway. So we got a nice level 4 mountain goat over here. There we go. Good shot. He had just went alert as soon as I seen him. So I'm assuming there's a uh, some mountain lions in the area. And here's our mountain goat. Oh yeah, really nice right long shot. Good gold. So it's getting ready to be, it's actually in the middle of mule deer drink zone time. I'm gonna come down here to one of my favorite spots. So uh, usually in my single player maps, I have a uh, tent here that way i can just spawn in here and then walk down but this little watering hole right here amazing so i'm gonna try and get over there i'm gonna put a waypoint up here and then i'll work my way down there's a big cliff edge right here that you can kind of sit up on it all right so you can see here's that area that i'm talking about and that little watering hole is right down in here and there we go oh that's a nice one He's got diamond potential. Let me sneak down here. Get to a little bit closer within range. There's another really nice one. This place is like highly overlooked by a lot of people. Just because, like, it's small and no one really knows about it. Let me get up right past this bush and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop him. Here for 164. There we go. Good shot. I'm gonna take this one as well. Good shot on both of them. Let's go get them. All right. So here's our big muley, and he looks absolutely massive. Let's take a picture of him real quick. Now let's grab him. He was a gold. He was a really nice gold, though. He was almost max weight. He's about 40 pounds under max weight. So if he had just a little bit more weight on him, he would have definitely been a diamond for sure. But we got double lung heart. Perfect shot. Now let's go pick up that other one that we got. All right, so we're here at our other mule deer that we've gotten. I'm gonna claim him real quick, 272. He's a nice basket rack. I, I really like that rack. And we just spotted this huge bull elk right here. He's a nice level four. He's not diamond potential, but still, he's a really nice trophy. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do the 22 trick real quick. All right, he's alert. And we got lung. All right, let's go get him. All 
Now, once again, before I go and get this elk, it's this. So if you spawn in here at the Silver Outpost right below uh, Lone Island, and it's just this little bitty watering hole, everyone everyone overlooks it. I actually seen it in a video um, that the Hunter DD33 put out, and this spot has been in my rotation like ever since I seen it because I came down to my single player maps and where I shot that big uh, gold at, I had probably 20 to 30 mule deer there. It was absolutely insane. Um, I've seen a few diamonds there, a um, couple rares, um, and it's just it's it's a hot spot for mule deer for sure. And I mean, it's got everything. So before mule deer drink zone time starts, you got bighorn sheep there. Uh, you see that elk, they'll feed there as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure elk will actually drink here too. But I haven't seen it personally, but I don't know. But yeah, let's go get this elk. All right, so we're walking up on this absolute giant. Look at him. I'm going to take a sh uh, shot of him real quick. Now let's confirm him. 409. He's going to be really nice once uh, once that right side really gets taller. He's going to be a really nice bull. All right, now I fast travel down here to Chapita Outpost. Um, this is another one of my favorites as well. So I just usually stick a waypoint back here on the back side. That way I don't run along this road. Um, if you come up over this way, you get a really nice viewing angle of this whole um, little pond. And typically you'll have bison um, and elk. Those are the two main that I've seen um, here. And you can hear we got someone somewhat close to us, so... We're gonna go ahead and head over here, that way they don't bother us. All right, so here we are at the back side of this little pond here, like I said. And if you look over here, you've got a bunch of Plains Bison here. This one here is probably about the best one. There's another level four in there. I think there. We may try and take both of these fours. Uh, I'm not seeing any elk. I know on my single player maps, I typically, I'll see um, elk actually in the zone that these uh, these bison are feeding in. And I've also seen them over here as well. But we're gonna, we're gonna get down here a little bit closer to the, the water's edge and then we're gonna take a shot at these uh, two level four bison. All right, so this angle that I'm at, there's a female bison in front of the other level four. We're going to take him, and of course they all bolt the same time. we got a nice gold Miriam over here, so get him as well. Okay, so the turkey went down, and that bison went down. So I'm going to kind of sit here and wait a second. See if I can't see that level four. He's actually right there. If he presents me with a shot, then. Right there, I'm gonna take it. That should have been a good uh, good long shot. So we'll pay attention to the, uh... yep. And he actually just went down. So let's go uh, grab this first bison. Then we're gonna grab the turkey and then we'll grab that second one. All right, so here is our first bison. Nice gold. 166. And got in there and got a single lung. Now let's go grab our turkey. Here's our max weight Miriam that we've seen. It's a gold, 4.3. Pretty good one. Now let's go grab our other bison. And he's actually sitting right here, pretty much where we shot him. So. And here he is. He was a 163. Actually hit a little bit farther back, but we got liver, stomach, and lung. So it's still a good shot. Okay, so we just spotted him. He's right here. He's about 100. He's like 170, 180 out, but we just absolutely smoked him. I thought I lost him there for a second. We're just going to go ahead and take these other two as well. At least that one. There we go. 
Alright, here is our eight mythical. He kind of went up under a tree. He's not good for claiming, but... 37.7. He's still really good, though. Double lung. Alright, let's work back up over this hill and uh, see if we can get us some elk. Alright, so we just stumbled upon three nice bulls. I'm going to go ahead and pop some shots at them. Let's go. I think we're going to have three dead bulls. That last one was a hard shot. It was a great shot. Looks like we got two down already. And there we go. All three of them are down. Let's go see what they scored. There's the first one. Here's that one that we heart shot. Great shot. And then here's the bigger of the three. The, uh, I believe he was level four. And here's that level four. Double lung name. He's a 390. All right, so we're up here in Settler's End. I just spawned in here at uh, the Mount Lion Outpost. And uh, I'm over, I ran up here and I'm overlooking this hillside here. I have a couple good elk zones here um, on my single player maps. And we actually got some elk bugles back there. But I looked up here. There's actually a really nice level four. Um, he's not dime potential, but um, he's pretty close. He's 318, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that shot. That was a good shot there. And we're going to run up here and go grab him real quick. All right, so here is our bighorn sheep. He was a 147, so he was a really small four. He was on the very bottom of that, uh, that estimate. Got a little bit more growing up to do, buddy. Oh, that is a max weight bison track. Let's see where he went. Oh my god, he's a level 5. And... Dime is 221. Well, he's not really going to move much, so... That should have lunged him there. And now let's just go wait. I think we just smoked a diamond. <laughs> Alright, and here are five medium Plains Bison is. Let's go! We got us a diamond. That's my second Diamond Plains Bison. Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go put him in the lodge and then uh and then we'll be back. All right, so it's a new day, new outfit. I completely forgot to record the whole like me mounting it and my outro and everything. I also forgot to record another diamond that I shot, but we're going to show you that one here in a second. So let's throw this bison up. Throw him up there. Boom. Looks great. And as we come in here, you can see this beautiful 39.1 nine legendary mountain lion that I shot. Um, after I shot that bison, I stopped recording, um, went up to Sun Sisters Lake, seen him. I talked to myself for a good five to ten minutes thinking I was recording, and uh, turns out I wasn't. But threw him in a multi mount with a gold black tail deer. Um, it looks pretty good. In the future, I plan to replace that black tail with a diamond. And yeah, I think it'll be really cool to have, uh, have two diamonds in this multi mount. So with that being said, y'all, that's going to complete today's hunt on Silver Ridge Peaks. Um, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that uh, notification bell. That way you see every Sunday whenever I post a video. And last thing, don't forget to hit your record button. Peace.